Hum. Mm, noob jam. Hello and welcome back to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Today, we head to the refining tower. Let's see what's up there. Wait. There's nothing down here, is it? Yes, there is. Oh, and those don't show up on the map, on my uh, AR display thing. I thought they would, but I guess they don't. But again, they only allow me to unlock VR missions, so I don't know if I care too hard to get them. But anyway, forward! Oh. Hey baby, what's up? I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dosayev, where is he? I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian, but white as snow. A natural bone killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. <sighs> but I butchered those fuckers. My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too, and a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq, in Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino, one after another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I... protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. That's really cool. Something special just for you! Nothing 
See, the camera is fighting me, that's all good. Yeah! <laughs> 
I walked into that one, that's my bad. She was talking to him, but oh well. She's not talking to you, idiot. Oh, well, no. that confirms it. You killed her! You fly your nuts! Murder! That's rich coming from you. It's over, Dos I am. Surrender. <laughs> Translation? <laughs> Why would I surrender? We are exactly where I want. Shit. Built with Russia money to make Russia money. It is no plan for our cars. It is their burden. But now they will be free. Up. <sighs> I think. Time to get you out of there. We're sending a helicopter. Secure an LZ. Understood. Nice. We talked about this. Chapter result! I finished a chapter! Took me forever, feels like, but you know what? I did my best and that's what matters. Also, I missed the thing. I guess there was an optional objective I could have made. Oh well. Pole armor, l'étranger. Alright. I don't like the name it has. Because it's made of an arm and it's called the Stranger. You know what I mean? Customize Raiden's body? Yes? Alright. I can have an original body. 
I can look like Grey Fox, which honestly it looks epic. I can be white. I kinda like it. It's pretty cool. Inferno armor. Ooh. Feels like I'm watching a race car. It's kinda nice. And commando. I like it a little bit less. I think my favorite has to be this one. Uh, a chassis. Pattern after Grey Fox's body circa the Shadow of Moses incident, but functionally equivalent to recent cyborg bodies. Though it was termed as an exoskeleton in those days before the advent of modern cybernetic technology, it could not be taken on and off at will. Alright, well, that's cool. So I could do that. What else do I have? So I could enhance my own high frequency blade. I could have the fox blade. High frequency blade used by ex foxhound field agent Frank Yeager, aka Grey Fox. After he was outfitted in a cyborg ninja chassis by Dr. Clark, Grey Fox's soul still echoed through the blade. Okay. I kind of want it now because of that. Okay. Unique weapons. Of course, the pole arm. Pole arm made by linking multiple tripod arms together. The user can wield it like a spear or relax the arm tension level to use it like a whip. Developed after carefully analyzing analysis of mistral battle data. Alright, alright. Then life. Entrance. An upgraded version of Raiden Cyborg Body far Firmware. That immediately reshape his artificial muscle whenever he hits, reduce the amount of damage taken. So it's more defense. Fuel cell is probably just well, it's literally what it is. Why do I have a new here? Oh, because I didn't click on the enhancement. Strength, absorption, or energy. Alright, well. Oh. What's the last thing? Skill. I can unlock skill. Aerial parry. An upgraded version of Raiden Cyber Body Farmway that improved the balance while airborne, enabling to parry enemy attack in midair. Alright. Mm -hmm. Well, I want that one for sure. Then I'm gonna... Do I stay with the original body or do I swap? I kind of want to swap because it looks cool, but at the same time, I'm also like... Let's... Let's not. Even though this looks epic as all hell. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. I'm gonna buy the unique weapon because why would I not? And I'm gonna use it a whole bunch, so I might as well just beef it up. Of course I'm gonna... I got a new skill. Okay. Illusion right in cyber body from where did the return is the less strange pole arm. Based on battle data taken from it. Well, you know what? Frick it. I'm just gonna buy these. Uh, I was gonna get them. Because why not? Thunder Strike sounds cool. I'll take that. And I don't have money to buy anything else. Except perhaps this? Nope. Well, alright. Yeah. I'm okay with that. lined up, right? Yep. All set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. <laughs> yeah. Well, just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. I'm sure you 
equivalent to K9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw him a bone. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. Dumbest costume possible, and it's it right. works. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission is to investigate the Desperado affiliated research center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <sighs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers. So, you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Well, then you went ahead very really fast. Right. Unidentified UGs are patrolling the sewers. Exercise caution. Yes, yeah, stealth. How about that? So I see a box over there. I don't care about boxes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I go too far, how do I change things? There it is. How can I not swap that? Hold on. Stop it. Me. There it is. How does one use it? Ah. My heavy attack or not? That's... I guess. Well, I love it. Also, I saw something here. Mice, get out of here! Get. Ah, I saw correctly. We have a new. We got a new new person on our phone. Right. Ambulatory unmanned gears detected in sewer network. What? Desperados already spotted us. Negative. These UGs are not engaged in proper perimeter security. Even were the lab anticipating our assault, they would not set up patrols down here. It is too far from the lab to be effectively guarded. So what are they doing down here? Judging by their behavior, I believe they are gathering AI behavioral learning data. Meaning? With neural AI, there is no delineation between hardware and software. You cannot simply extract the learning data from one AI and insert it into another. 
In order to prepare a UG's AI for deployment, each must learn its duties on an individual basis. So they're using a Mexican sewer as their training ground? No, it would be impractical to implement on-the-field training for every AI in their force. In most cases, AIs are fed simulated data sets, plus feedback based on their chosen actions. Put another way, they engage in VR training. So then why are they here? I believe they are collecting data to improve upon their VR training code. To build a better VR regimen, they must go out in the field to experiment and gather data. It is probable they are using the sewers to help improve their AI's behavior in enclosed spaces. That's the sort of subcontracting work this lab does? It appears likely. Oh, great. And here I was hoping the worst we'd have to deal with is toxic waste. Unfortunately, not. Well then, also notice that this age was three. You know what, I'm gonna talk with everyone just for fun. How is your eye, Raiden? Great. My sight's perfectly balanced between both eyes. I think my vision's improved, actually. Quite right, quite right. Your eye patch houses an artificial compound eye unit. The unit contains over 200 million solid-state image sensors, each with its own individual lens. 200 megapixels, huh? Doesn't sound like all that much. More than sufficient for the application. A human's optic nerve has only about a million fibers, you know. Were we to add more sensors, your perceived vision would not improve. There's only so much modern image compression technology can do. Huh. So I shouldn't expect any more dramatic improvements to my eyesight? No, your brain would no longer be able to process any more visual information in real time. Still, compared to previous ACEs, yours has 1.4 times the resolution and a superior compression algorithm. It may only result in a slight perceived change, but it could wind up making the difference during a mission. Regrettably, I have not had enough time to develop a new eyeball unit just yet. Thus, I have cut out the ability to deploy the ACE unit separately and simply installed it on a fixed eye patch. Works for me. If I was using an eye unit, I wouldn't see any better than a regular human. Ah, but remember, the human eye is so much more than a simple light receptor. They play a vital role in person-to-person -person communication. Sooner or later, you'd miss it. Stuff like that's important for some tasks, sure. For this op, not so much. And with less moving parts, the lower the chance of something going wrong. <laughs> Besides, I like it. Well, I'm very pleased to hear this. I can worry about how I look after I complete the mission. Yeah, yeah. How about Courtney? No, I'm good. I can't believe Dole's I have blew himself up. Pretty common terror tactic. You don't usually see the leaders doing it, though. It's one thing to get your flock pumped up on the glory of dying for the cause, but it's not often they actually go through with it themselves. You gotta have a public face, after all. The guy who gets to claim responsibility on the evening news. In a weird way, Dolzai have showed some serious dedication. Not that I'm about to praise him for it. Yeah, still a terrorist. A suicide bomber in the end. If that's what you want to call him. Still, he kind of failed at it. How so? Well, all that explosion did was put a dent in Abkhazia's budget. More Russia's, really. They're the ones rebuilding the refinery. The coup didn't work out. He couldn't overthrow the government. He was barely a blip on Russia's radar. So, you're saying the bombing didn't accomplish any of his goals? He did it just because he was cornered? Sounds more like just plain suicide. Yeah. Probably wanted to end things with his own hands. Like a samurai committing harakiri. Still not something to be commended for, though. Yeah. Lumping him in with true warriors like the samurai just gives them a bad name. Okay. Hey, Kev, what up? Miss Chow mentioned someone from her past. Any idea who that could have been? None. I checked her file again, couldn't find a thing. Definitely not Dolzaev. Probably not Sundowner either. No. The way she put it, it didn't sound like anyone I've encountered so far. Maybe someone involved in backing Desperado. If so, sounds like they're providing more than just financing. Maybe they share the same philosophy. That'd be bad. People willing to die for their leaders aren't so easy to predict. Yeah, but other than the winds, 
Desperado cyborgs are all just hired contractors. They're probably emotion suppressed with nanos or drugs or whatever, but that's about it. Hmm. You're probably right. Hey, boss. How are things back in Abkhazia? Thanks to the full efforts of the workers, power was restored in just two days. Pretty impressive. Only the power plant is back online, though. Refinery itself will likely be out of service for months. Fuel sent from Supsa is being used to power the plant for now. Ah, just wish I could have stopped him. Impossible without a sniper. And in our focus on anti-cyborg combat, we were... unprepared. Thankfully, other than financial losses, few Abkhaz citizens were seriously affected. The plant workers had already been evacuated, and most were hired back on to rebuild the refinery. We received payment, and are not being blamed for the suicide blast. Good to hear. It should go a long way to help fix our reputation. Duh. And even more good news. Desperado is down one of its top captains. Let's hope they learned a lesson. We can hope, but it is doubtful. We still do not know who is supporting them. Even if we shut Desperado down entirely, their backers could simply hire some other PMC. Whoever it is, you really think they're interested in the pipeline? Who'd benefit besides the Georgians? Mmm, hard to say. Whatever the plan was, it went up in flames with Dolcaev's suicide. The problem is that there are countless companies and governments profiting off the BTC pipeline. Whoever is behind it, they may be too big for a simple security firm like us to do anything. Yeah, one thing we do know, though, is that Sundowner is more than just a pawn in all of this. We need to watch him. Trafficking or not, we need to stop their operation here. Find the evidence, and perhaps we can do that. And Tovarich, be careful. I will. Also, who's Sundowner? <laughs> I mean, because I know the game, I think I know who that is, but... I don't think anyone ever mentioned him before those call that I just had. Anywho, I think it's about time. So, I'm gonna call it quits right here. Next time I'm gonna explore the sewer and do all kind of cool stuff. But right now I'm gonna call it quits, so like always, if you could, you know, press all the buttons under this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And with that said, I bid you a glorious day, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Bye bye